Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne, I'm the used vehicle manager and I'm gonna take you for a personalized walk around video tour of our 2019 Black, Black Edition Pajero Sport. This has got to be renowned as the best value for money four wheel drive diesel on the market. And I'm gonna walk you through the whole car and show you why, but I genuinely don't believe you'll find a better value for money car out there. Starting at the front, the key difference on the black edition is you get this genuine black front nudge bar. Great for additional protection and just finishes off that really striking front end really nicely. The 2019 Pajero Sport has got that diamond shield front which you notice the big chrome centerpiece is here on either side. In behind this centre badge is a radar system which we'll go through once we're inside the vehicle for your adaptive cruise control and forward collision mitigation systems as well. Fully feature packed with all the safety features you could think of. We've got daytime running lights that run down here at the bottom of the headlight. Xenon headlights here, really bright, nice white light at night. And you've also got your fog lights down low in the front there as well. Moving around down to the side of the vehicle, you've got 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels. Obviously brand new vehicle, so unmarked with Toyo factory tires on there. You've got chrome backed mirrors and side indicator in here. The black edition also ends up with the black roof and the black side rails. Now, obviously being a black car, the roof will look normal, but those black side rails really finish it off nicely as well. You've got these flat side steps. Now, these are an awesome design. Being nice and flat, it makes it really easy for you to get in and out of the vehicle. And then you've got your chrome door handles with your button on the side. Now, this is to lock and unlock the car, which we'll show you as well. Push button start inside, meaning you never have to take those keys out of your pocket. Moving again, we've got 18 inch wheels, as mentioned. Nice chrome highlight at the bottom of the windows where it meets the door as well. Again, this just ties in nicely with the chrome handles and also those silver side steps there. And the black edition's finished off beautifully with a black rear spoiler up here too. Completely changes the shape of the back end of the car and I genuinely believe it makes the big difference compared to the GLS or even an XE model. Now, Pajero Sport has these striking tail lights. They are really big, and if you've ever ended up on the road behind one, it's pretty safe to say you're not gonna miss it. The safety side of that means people are gonna see where you are, they're gonna see your braking, and you've also got the additional reflector down here, which again, just highlights uh, you know, a bit of extra safety that Mitsubishi have designed in there. Now, we've got a factory reverse camera, and you've also got four point color-coded reverse sensors down here and these are awesome for reverse parking. The car doesn't feel overly big when you're in it. It's actually designed really, really well. In the back, the gas struts take the tailgate up right out of the way, and as you can see, it is a seven-seater in this Black Edition Pajero Sport. So with these rear seats, still leaves quite a bit of room in the back here, and you've also got underfloor storage here with the spare wheel being kept underneath the car. And as you can see, the design of these seats is actually really good in terms of they're quite laid back. The base is facing upwards a bit, maximizing that amount of leg room that you do have in the back. You've also got your 12 volt power socket off to the right hand side there. And most importantly for the people in the back, you do have third row air conditioning. So you've got the vents up on the side wall there to keep the people in the very back of the car nice and cool. Again, moving into the passenger side, very much the same as the driver side, but excellent condition, all as new. The car does have privacy glass. Now with the privacy glass, it's not UV protected like normal tinted windows. So what we highly recommend you do is looking at putting a darkest legal film on the front. That'll match up the color of the two. And then you put what's called heat shield on the back. Now this is a clear UV film that gives you all of the main benefits of your normal window tint e.g. your UV protection, your heat reduction, and also that safety of if a window is ever broken, it does help hold that glass together a little bit for you as well. Again, just a striking example of a car, fantastic design, nice sharp lines, and again, feature packed in this black edition. Moving under the bonnet now, we've got Mitsubishi's famous 2.4 litre common rail turbo diesel engine. This is now utilized across their Triton range as well as the Pajero Sport. Very, very good compact fuel economic engine. It does have awesome towing capacity with 3,100 kilo rating. 
and mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. It's super smooth to drive. The economy is awesome, rated at eight liters per 100 Ks on car sales, meaning you're gonna get a stack of kilometers per tank. 3,100 kilo tow capacity means it's strong enough to tow pretty much anything and it's seven seater so therefore it ticks all the boxes family car tow vehicle and economical on the road as well all right sitting inside the black edition now we're going to give you a rundown of all the interior features the car has on offer and now i have to tell you this is just feature packed they've put so much effort into making sure you miss out on pretty much nothing with this car starting on the driver's side beautiful door card leather bolstered side Piano black finish with this nice gloss silver finish on the handle. You got full electrics with the auto up and down on the driver's window, central locking and the window lock there to stop the kids in the back from playing with it as well. In behind the steering wheel on the right, we have our electric side mirrors, which does have the fold in feature when you lock and unlock the car as well. Stops people wrecking them when you're at the supermarket. And then you've got your forward collision mitigation button, your rear parking sonar. So if you do fit the tow bar to the car, you can turn those reverse beepers off and also your ESP stability control. You're probably only really gonna turn that off in serious four wheel driving. Got our push button start on the dash on the right hand side, nice and easy, cause you can see it when you get in the car. And then the steering wheel itself, nice leather bound steering wheel, got quite a sporty feel to it uh, with these extra little holes down through the middle. And then everything you need is right here at your hands. You've got your cruise control, which again is adaptive, so you can set the distance between you and the car in front. You've got your menu control here, which is for your trip computer, distance to empty, um, average fuel economy, and it'll also show you on the screen here what four wheel drive system that you're currently in. On the left hand side we've got our stereo controls and also our voice activated Bluetooth controls. Now this is really, really good when you pair it up to either the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto system. It works even better than utilising it on the phone by itself. You've also got your paddle shifters here so you can change uh, manually between your eight gears in the auto transmission and then the steering wheel adjustment is, also, is height as well as telescopic so depending on how long your arms are, quite a comfortable uh, ability to set it exactly where you need it. On the right hand stalk we've got our indicators, high beam, low beam, fog lights and our auto headlight controls are on there. You've also got your auto wiper controls and your front and rear wipers on the left hand stalk there. I love the design of the dash gauges behind the steering wheel here too. Really bright, easy to read, white illuminated numbers and that colour display in the middle with your temperature gauge and your fuel gauge in the centre there as well. Now moving across to the middle, Mitsubishi's updated head unit has come such a long way. They've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth music streaming, normal Bluetooth and digital audio radio in there as well and all really simple to use all at the touch of the screen and when you drill down into one of these you'll see super easy with your presets, volume up on this side and also on the steering wheel there as well. Flick it into reverse, again, got the nice bright colour screen there. Can see the top of the rear bar just here as well. And if you do fit a tow bar, that sits about here. So it's really easy to see when you're reversing up to connect the tow bar to anything as well. Got dual zone climate control in the middle. Now this is great when you have two people in the car that like different temperatures. If it's anything like me and my wife, hers is normally set to 27 while mine's on aircon. Keeps both of us nice and happy. Um, down through here, we've got our fan speed, direction of air, and also our front and rear windscreen demisters. There's a little warning here for if you put it into drive and people don't have their seatbelt on, there'll be a little red dot there to show who doesn't have their belt on, and your hazard lights are situated here as well. Now I mentioned earlier it does have the rear aircon, so you do have rear aircon controls on and off here. Again, stops the kids in the back playing with the controls which are in the rear there as well. And we've also got our rear diff lock. Now, that diff lock really, you're only going to utilise that if you're heavy four wheel driving and you're planning on getting one of those back wheels off the ground. It does have Tiptronic Auto there as well, off to the left hand side, so you can change the gears up and down as you please. And then you've also got your full drive controls here for different terrains and also your downhill descent control. Now one thing that's really good about Mitsubishi's four-wheel drive system, you can change it from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive on the fly, and these also have a lockable centre diff. Now what that means is you can actually run the car in four high, giving you additional traction on gravel roads, 
roads or even bitumen roads when it's wet and you won't get the bind up of that rear diff that you get in other four-wheel drives causing massive mechanical issues. So it's a simple turn of the dial from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive and again looking on the screen you'll now see there that it's actually engaged the four-wheel drive control. I'll just pop that through the menu there and you can actually see all four wheels there are green so you're in four high. Got twin cup holders here in the centre. Uh, they're actually quite um, quite good size. You fit most drinks in there. Leather bound centre console, and down in here we've got our additional tray, which is great for you know your wallet or uh, garage remote. And then in here you've got uh, HDMI, two USB inputs. That's to hook up your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and you've also got a conventional power outlet there as well for any additional charging or gaming requirements you might have. Through the rest of the car, it is a full leather interior, really, really nice design leather, quite large side bolsters here which are very supportive on the drive themselves. You've got deep uh, drink bottle holders in the doors and in terms of safety elements, you've got airbags all the way through side curtain airbags. You've also got ISO fix points there on the back seat for the child uh, seats. And in the center of the rear seat, you have a little fold down armrest, which also integrates a cup holders there for the rear uh, customers or <laughs> rear passengers, sorry. And then at the top here at the front, uh, just a normal sunglasses holder. But again, look at the size of that. That way you can fit pretty much any design sunglasses in there. So again, as you can see, Pajero Sport Black Edition, absolutely feature packed with heaps of gear inside. Don't think there's anything else you could ask for. And there you have it, Mitsubishi's famous Black Edition Pajero Sport. I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. Again, as you can see, feature packed, tons of equipment in there to make sure the whole family are happy and safe with all those additional safety tech items there as well. Mitsubishi cars come with the balance of a five year, 100,000 kilometer warranty. Now, one thing we do like to talk about is the additional protection available for a further five years, up to 200,000 Ks. Platinum One Cover will give you that peace of mind. And it's a mirror, mirror, just like the new car warranty, giving you 10 years nearly of peace of mind, as well as having premium roadside assistance Australia wide. One thing I would definitely recommend on this is glass coat ceramic paint sealer. This is going to seal in that beautiful gloss black finish, save you from the external contaminants like the UV rays of the sun causing oxidization and paint fade to the black. Also bird droppings, eating thun causing that paintwork to crack and peel. It's a lifetime ownership guarantee and I'd love to tell you a little bit more about how that works and how easy it is to make sure we protect your investment. The other thing to note at Berwick Mitsubishi, jump on Google and have a look at our reputation. Nearly 1,100 reviews from customers Australia wide rating us as 4.8 out of 5 stars. Hard to please every single person, but that should give you some assurance that not only is this going to be the right car for you and the family, but we're definitely the right people to buy our car from. And Julie and Mario, they're our two business managers, they'll be able to assist you in tailoring a finance package that will suit your needs and the Platinum One mechanical cover and ceramic glass coat only bumps your payment by a small amount per week, so allow us to at least send you a quote on that. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to call us on 9907055. The next steps are super easy. Call and book an appointment to view and test drive this vehicle or do what nearly 50% of our customers do now, secure the vehicle over the phone. It is brand new, it is st still subject to viewing and being happy with your drive, but it will give you the ability to come in and take the car home on the exact same day. Again, our number here is 9907055 and thanks again for watching.